just tell me some culture shocks you've experienced while being here in Korea so far. I would say one thing, that you can just spit anywhere. Go to sleep right now. No! Oh. Absolutely fine. Oh. Absolutely fine. What's up you guys? I'm back at it again! And today, you guys know I have been here for too long, a little too long, and I am curious about some culture shocks that people have. So I'm going to be out here in the streets of home days, asking people some of their culture shocks. And this video is in collaboration with Vicky Mama. Please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and go watch her version of this video where we ask people country's flags. Let's go! Hello, I am here with Carlene Fisher. Can you tell me where you're from? Uh, Nebraska. Awesome, awesome. What are some culture shocks you've experienced as somebody coming to Korea? Um, one big thing is like the colors people wear. It's a lot of dull colors, like a lot of blacks, a lot of browns. So I really stick out with my red shirt or I have a pink jacket that really pops. Any other things that come to mind? The fast pace of everything. Uh, people move a lot quicker here than back home. They're kind of just not as in a big a hurry I suppose. Hello I am here with Kiara. Ki Kiara. Kiara meets Kira. Oh, really? Yeah nice to meet you. Twin name twinsies out here. Can you tell me some culture shocks you've had while being in Korea? Well to be honest uh, I didn't have that many because I've been backpacking around Thailand and uh, Japan and now here so uh, but I think what shocked me the most is just the difference between Europe and also to Japan and South Korea is when people bump into you they immediately say sorry and when I came here and people bumped into me no reaction at all and I was so shocked like after some time I realized that it's pretty common pretty normal here that they don't say sorry it's not like in a rude way but first it was to me like that's rude why aren't you saying sorry so I'm here with who? Mansi Tai Chi Tai so where are you guys from? London London yeah, London yeah, yeah. oh Everybody. London awesome what do you guys do in London what brought you guys to Korea for dance yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance, dance. Dance. awesome can you guys tell me some culture shocks you've experienced while being here in Korea so far there's literally no healthy food I feel like <laughs> there's literally no vegetables or fruits I mean it's really really expensive that's just for me I don't have too much culture shock but I know for these guys um, doing recycling is like really hard oh here my as a foreigner. God. like oh, yeah. having to separate everything because we had to do it all last night like with our build up trash so I can tell you I've been here for four years it doesn't get better oh <laughs> what about you I would say one thing probably that you can just spit anywhere spitting anywhere is like oh. absolutely fine what was it like the first time you saw it I had to I had to do a double take like did he really just spit on the floor like he really hacked it up and spat on the floor do you guys want to plug your Instagrams sure it's it's Mansi on Instagram that's it <laughs> uh, Taichi underscore Kate it's Thai underscore YWD. Awesome, so guys, make sure you go check out their dances, period. What are your names? Oh, okay. uh, my name is Carolina Lor. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Oh, I'm from America. How long have you been in Korea? The second time I've been here, two months, more or less. Um, I've been here three times, I want to say almost two years. Are you like tourist or like... I'm living here. Yeah, I'm living here too right now. Could you tell me like a cultural shock for you? I'm going out with a Korean boy, so a lot. I guess mostly with clothes. Clothes, uh, like, oh, are you going to wear this and that? It's like they want you more covered? Yeah, ah. more covered. For me, I think it's a lot of the like stopping and staring, you know, um, where I'm just casually going to the store or something and they just completely stop and will turn their whole head just yeah. to look at you. I get it, like, because uh, yeah. you're a foreigner. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> everywhere they stare at you like, as if they never saw a foreigner, like Korea is full of foreigners, but they don't get used to it, I guess. I think for me it's like also in the subways really where it's like you're sitting down and there's so much space but they avoid you for some reason I'm like I, do I smell like what is it because like there's so many empty seats and they will sit in like the one spot where it's like everybody's just clustered together and I'm like okay there are seats right here but that's cool one more question do you really like living in Korea actually I'm living here because I'm living with my boyfriend if I could choose I would like to be with him in <laughs> Spain but I like I enjoy living here it's different I'm learning new things I like the culture. I'm comfortable here. What about you? Yeah, I, I like it. It definitely has its positives and negatives. Uh, it definitely feels like lonely every now and then, especially when you're like going through things and it's like, well, who can I turn to right now? Nobody really, but um, so far I really like it. Yeah. I am here with Shanti. Can you tell me some culture shocks you've experienced being in Korea so far? Not having soap in public restrooms. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
period because it depends on which state you're from in America but I feel like people are more like oh, holding open doors and more like excuse me sorry blah 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 and you have to get used to people like being in a rush and not saying excuse me to you like at all ever like so yesterday this woman can get her car to work at the kiosk for the coffee and I'm like I was like really shy I was like um excuse me ma'am um you have you have to hit the card to, for the card to work and then this just Ajuma comes in and just like jur, jur, and like orders her coffee and I was like damn I can't even help the lady who was in line first like she's like y'all take it too long hurry up she's like I just want my Americano y'all take it too long so like don't hesitate just just go oh and like I like was standing on the wrong side of the escalator like my whole first month or so here <laughs> no he told me <laughs> and I was on the wrong side so guys stand on the right if you're not gonna walk down the stairs and if you're walking down the stairs, stand on the left and walk down the stairs. Okay, guys? Because I was just like, la, la, la. like nobody told me. And I did research, and it was none of my research. Also, defamation loss, culture shock. You can't, you can't talk. S H I T. Even if it's not, even if it's real, like if it's not like, if it's honest, you can't be honest. You can't even give honest food reviews. Okay? If the food's bad, keep it in your head, in your heart. They can sue you. But don't talk. Don't post anything. Don't write any reviews. Just. Keep it, keep it inside. I like it here. It's very convenient, like birth control. Like, I mean, I don't, but like if you, in America, you gotta do all this extra stuff. Now, like American, you know America right now with birth control and stuff. But like, it's actually complete opposite in Korea. You can just walk in a pharmacy and get it. It's very convenient. Insurance, if you're like a student or like a teacher, you work here or whatever, you're not gonna have insurance in America. So <laughs> that is very convenient. There's a lot of convenient things about living here. And it's in some ways a lot more affordable, in a lot of ways a lot more affordable than America. I've been here for almost three years. There's just something when you're like, they, I'm not at home anymore. Visit, eat their food. <laughs> Hi, I am here with Miguel DJ. Can I ask you guys where you're from? Uh, Dominican Republic, Ooh. Georgia, in the state. Okay, awesome. Can you guys tell me about some culture shocks you've experienced so far being in Korea? They don't let us in clubs. That is definitely true. And then we also found out, like, to piggyback off that, like, they don't really like black people down here or it's foreigners in general. Yeah. But other than that, Koreans are very nice people in general, though. Yeah. It's just that some places they don't allow foreigners in. Oh, That's a lot of places. females, they are toxic as fuck. Where did that come from? <laughs> the music is fire. The food is also fire. The culture, I like it as well. Um, when I first got here, I had to learn the train system. Yeah, you can't get past it if you if you're not sober. On top of that, uh, also the language. When I first got here, all I heard was. <laughs> Like, I can't do Gunshots it. fired. <laughs> no. the only thing I could do was like look at them and say, nay. <laughs> nay. That means yes. But how was the culture shock for you as well? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting interviewed. Um, oh. <laughs> That's how you make a good video. <laughs> like they said, I can't get in no clubs. Um, even at school. They said and I was too old. In your play. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even talking about the dancing clubs. I'm talking about the sports clubs, the drawing clubs. I got denied, y'all. They said no. We can't get in nowhere. Bombastic side eye. But other than that, love Korea. You feel me? Korea is cool. It's a lot of sights to see, especially like the summer months coming up. But yeah, the rooftop pool parties is about to come up. The beach area, going down there. Do some, bro. In the gym, getting this summer body right. What you mean? What's the weirdest food you tried? Bundegi. And that is? That's the one with the insect. Oh, hell no. Are you a bug? <laughs> no. Yo, Yo wait a minute. Wait. It don't taste bad. It don't taste bad. You got to try it. I done stepped on a roach before and I done seen the juices that came out of that shit. I don't want no book. <laughs> the weirdest thing I've tasted was Sinachi, which is live walking. Cut it up. That motherfucker's still moving, yeah. but it's technically dead. You out here eating raw stuff though. You out here eating bugs, girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was cooked! It was cooked in my defense. Huh? You ate cockroaches, girl. As you guys can see, I have no energy left. Energy oops them, okay? I have none, but it's it's been it's been a day. Don't forget to like and comment, subscribe, and also go over to my girl's Vicky's video channel, channel video, video channel. You know what I mean. And give her a like and comments on her video because you will want to see it. Who doesn't want to know what flags other people know? Other than that, I will see you guys next time. Until then.